Hi, 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 and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to show you one of the most exciting days that we had since my live trading. Also, it's my, by the way, my second day. So stay tuned. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. Currently, it's uh, February the 5th, Tuesday, and we are not in any trades. We still didn't take any live trades. And it's this time for my morning analysis before the market before I can trade based on my trading plan uh, so just let's just go quickly through this what I see here is this is like a bearish move the market is going down the only thing that I can see could be maybe potential bad or something let's let's just check this out okay what would that be No, nothing here. Okay, so if something happens like if the like X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, then I might be checking out for the entries on A86. Depends what happens. W would it be bad, guardly, or something else? But currently. There is nothing in here for me uh, on this pair. Let's move to Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD was in some kind of a bearish move. Now it breached our previous outside return, and um, I don't see anything here that could be of my interest. I just like I can see it from here. I don't need. To, I don't even need to go to the. Yeah, the only thing that if you remember yesterday's big as that like this 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 and this let's just see would would this be a winner if this was for you yes looks like it would be if you use the stop losses of 113 then this would be almost come here and then it will hit your take profit levels like it would be right here give me a sec yeah you would make some money you would be 23 pips up uh with targets one and currently up you would be 38 pips waiting for the targets two but okay if this was for you it was not for me Plus, uh, after I was double checking my, uh, my my results, the time of the entry was this candle right here, which is four in the morning uh, GMT time. This is out of my time period, so I wouldn't be able to trade it anyway. Okay, Aussie USD. Look at this. Did it come down here? Maybe this was a winner for somebody. Yeah. So look at this, we have another bad, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D completion here, and you get both targets hit, it, it came back down to the pip, let me mark this up for you, Fuck. beautiful, beautiful bad, unfortunately, this was a time when I'm, <laughs> When I was sleeping, it's at midnight, and I w won't be. I I wasn't able to trade it. It would hit, or it already did hit both targets. No, it didn't. So we are still a few pips away from hitting hitting the second target. But we did hit the first target for for 39 pips, and now we we would be currently up 60 pips. Congrats on everybody who took this. Euro dollar yesterday's yesterday's thing. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, <laughs> now we're gonna place orders for our Garthly again because I can see that it's four, four in the morning. I still need one more hour before I can trade, and I I don't think this because markets are slow. The market's gonna move, so I, I I'll have to reset my fibs just to place another orders again and let's check it out my orders would be 14127 so i need to uh put it above two pips 
this is it buy limit yeah no i need to stop loss take profit place order no, zero 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 five place order there we go and i will do another one buy limit same thing okay close it uh my entry point is this my stop loss is 113 for both of the trades there we go and my targets are then uh 127 127 comes at uh 127 okay 28 so this is target one this is target two guys so again we are eyeing the same Gartley that we were checking out yesterday maybe today we will have uh, more luck and maybe it will come down activate activate our trade and then you know hit those targets let's move to pound dollar nothing else besides this Gartley now let's move to pound dollar pound dollar is based on my opinion in some kind of a bearish move yeah so i don't see at least on our one yeah because if if you do your analysis you have a higher low higher high higher low higher high then we breached the this line right there you see this we breached it uh we didn't we respected it here we respected it here then we closed below we uh, made a pullback and then we closed below this here so now to go short in my opinion we would need to break below this line make a pull back and then go down probably here or maybe here that would be a better level but uh this is not i'm not trading this i'm just observing the markets i'm um there is no advanced pattern in here for me so i'm just gonna skip it because i don't see anything i can trade right now pound yen okay do we have something here maybe we have the x to a lag a to b b to c or or whatever but that that would be the only thing that i can see right now boom boom okay did we touch the 50 level here it's below 123 125 yeah so we did touch so what we need here is we have x to a a to b b to c problem could be a c to d so if the market does something like this like like this and then if it does then something like this we might have a bet or a gartley we will see we need to wait but there is it's far more from completion i'm, go, I'm not gonna place my orders there might be a smaller path or gartley here if you check out this here no but okay it might happen so if we move from here x to a a to b b to c c to d we might have a shorting opportunity up in here but we're gonna wait and to see you know what's gonna happen because you you never know and yeah well that's it that's our morning analysis uh i'm done for today i'm done for now and uh later today after the entire day i will come back and record post-market analysis and i will show you was it triggered in any trade or not and how did my end how how did my day end thank you very much for watching this and talk to you soon bye bye okay so we are back i wish you good evening it's currently 4 30 uh, european i think it's gmt time yeah 4 30 gmt time and this it's time for my aftermarket almost aftermarket analysis and we will start with the usd cad uh in the morning we had nothing here but throughout the day uh there is something that i found interesting was x to a a to b 
B2C came here and then I set the alarm to notify me if the price starts pulling down that I'll be pushing, that I'll be placing my pending orders based on my rules because we have a bat here. We had a potential bat as you can see. Let's give me a sec. So we had X to A, A to B to 50 and now we are looking for 38 here and then from here, here. Let's, let's just show you this. Okay, so yeah, it did touch the uh, it did touch the 38, and now then we were looking to come back to the 88 for something like that will look like this, something like this, and then the another triangle like this, like this. So I I set the alarm to notify me a few pips above it, but nothing happened. We violated the A leg X to A. We violated the A point. We spike above it, and so yeah, we are not gonna take this. So I can remove the alarm. Let's see, did we actually miss this here? No, we didn't go to 38. We didn't go to 50. So there is nothing here for me. Still nothing on this pair, at least not for me. I see this as a complex pullback, basically because we have a low here, pullback, lower low, and then we are cut. We are coming back into this you know pullback zone and then price is actually retesting and I think it's gonna go lower at least to retest these lows but for now I I don't see myself I don't see how I can get engaged because it's not per my rules let's go to Aussie CAD since this morning nothing here besides this big ass Gartley or bad whatever it was but it was not for me this is maybe 38 February tracement, but again, not a bet, not 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 none of the harmonic patterns. So I'm just gonna skip it. Aussie USD. If somebody caught this, this was a good trade. Came at a midnight GMT time, so I wasn't able to get engaged. So not for me. Uh, maybe there is something here. No, nothing, nothing yet. At least not now. We will see tomorrow morning. Euro dollar, the Gartley from yes Monday's analysis, which we didn't get activated yesterday. We were here. It was basically not doing much until today morning when the market opened. It kind of pushed down, hit, uh, uh, got our, uh, we got engaged at this candle around eight in the morning GNT time zone. Market started started reversing a little bit, and we were up at one point. We were up like what? 19, 20 pips, and then we had these big, big two bearish candles. At this point, we still didn't violate the X point, so I think that there is still hope for market to reverse. Well, let's see, am I telling you correctly? Yes, so there is still chance because the X point is not validated, uh, uh, is not breached, so I th still believe that we have a chance to hit our targets. Maybe I need to adjust them, so I will do them. I will do this right now. We, based on my backtesting results, I'm trailing my target, so I need to adjust the take profit target one on 38, and take profit target two on 61.8. Yes, that's it. So yeah, that's the euro dollar Gartley. We will see what's gonna happen. I'm currently in. Let's see. Uh. Okay, I'm currently down, what is it, 7 euros, I took 2 positions off 0 0.05 micro lots on 2000 euros live account, so we will see what's going to happen after, you know, after, probably not going to get stopped out right now, or maybe I am, but tomorrow morning we will see what's the price going to do. Pound dollar, I had no way of getting engaged, but as I said in my morning analysis, price did hit this level f here first, then it, you know, it, it's already down here. Now the next level, I'm expecting it to go all, all the way, all the way to here because we did close below this low. I think we did close. We'll, let's see. However, this is not, yeah, we did close. This is not something that I'm trading. So this is just like me analyzing the price movement on a pair. Uh, no harmonic patterns. Maybe we have something big here, but uh, no, actually nothing, nothing. We don't have nothing that would be of my interest. 
for you cypher traders maybe this no 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 nope nothing here and uh, pound yen there was a trade today on pound yen uh what okay so the trade was this let me remove this the trade was a bad pattern because the price came down then it went up then a little bit down then it made a new high here so this was our x uh x to a a to b b to c and c to d leg was here however because the candle the pound yen is the only pattern that i cannot trade that i can trade uh from six in the morning gmt time zone until one p.m gmt time zone and the candle which would activate me in a trade would came at 3 p.m i wasn't able to get activated and in my opinion if the price breaches this level here here which it's which it's testing right now then uh the pattern is gonna lose uh hours after 1 1 p.m uh, gmt time zone for pound yen bad patterns were really really bad for me so i don't think i don't see this as a winner i'm actually glad i back tested everything and that i have this kind of a results so that i know what to avoid and what not with that being said also uh you know click that like button click that subscribe button smash that bell button and yeah spread the word leave a comment and thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and talk to you soon bye bye